this. All right. So can y'all hear me now? Well, I can hear you. Okay, cool. All right. Let me know if y'all can hear me now. Y'all should be able to hear myself. And uh, uh, also, Judy, on, on your computer, can you... Can you click the microphone to unmute yourself, but hit the mute button on your computer though? So that way people can't hear, hear us both. All right, good stuff. So hold on, on uh, mute yep. on the computer? No, yeah, yeah, so, un, so where you see the microphone, yeah, yeah, hit it, unmute the mic, but the computer, you're going to put mute on the computer, the actual computer button, the mute button on the computer, on the, on the keyboard. Well, I'm not sure. I have a Mac. I don't see. I don't have a mute button. Uh, it's. Uh, I think you did it. Let me know. Can y'all hear him? Make sure there's no feedback, y'all. Y'all, y'all talk to us. Make sure we good. Can Can you hear me on Streamyard? Yeah. Let us know if y'all can hear Juby on Streamyard. All right. And let us know on Instagram. Y'all can hear us too. All right, good. Hopefully there's no feedback. Hopefully everything's cool and good to go. As always, we want to make sure that as we're having a really dope conversation, all right, someone said turn off the sound coming out of the Mac, but keep the mic on. Yeah, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and put my headsets on because we've got a really incredible conversation we're going to have, and we want to make sure that in this conversation, Yeah, it's about to have a really incredible conversation. We want to make sure within this conversation that it is enjoyable and pleasurable for everybody. So please let me know, y'all, if everything sounds good. Somebody said cute kind of voice. That's funny. Dick. Hey, hold up. Ju Juby's a married man, so I know you're not talking about me. <laughs> yeah, my, my, my voice is a little annoying, so I know y'all talk about me. <laughs> or or I know y'all aren't talking about me. So, uh, all right, good stuff. So really excited to have this conversation with y'all. Thank y'all for everybody that's here, everybody that's here with YouTube, LinkedIn, also the Instagram community, incredibly excited about this conversation to talk with, again, Julie being the co-founder of Yellowtail Tech, which is one of the fastest growing companies in America, in the U.S. specifically. And what's really incredible about that is that this company is a tech boot camp, as y'all already know. Y'all know what it is. And, and then to double down further, Julie and his wife, both being people of color, both being uh, you know, being black. And that's a beautiful, beautiful thing to hear about black man, black woman, them being the founders of one of the fastest growing companies. We're going to talk a little bit about that later on. Of course, first, we want to talk about the main thing that matters for y'all, the opportunity when it comes to cloud, the opportunity when it comes to Linux in the tech industry. And so, but of course, we're excited about everything within this conversation, everything he and his wife have accomplished so far. And, but most importantly, how many people's lives they have impacted already. So very, very grateful to have him on here. Y'all, this is going to be a very, very special treat. Make sure you come ready with your questions. Make sure you're putting your questions in the question box. Those of y'all on YouTube and LinkedIn, y'all know what it is. Make sure that you have your questions ready. We're going to be popping in and out of answering different questions. So make sure you have them ready. But y'all are definitely going to want to stick around to the end to be able to hear the entire story, as well as all of the opportunities, not just now, but in the future, when it comes to Yellowtail Tech, the cloud industry, Linux industry, all of that that encompasses within the tech space. So that way, y'all and y'all's families can be blessed and take advantage of these incredible, incredible opportunities. That being said, just off top, before we jump into it, anyone that is familiar already, and I'm curious, let me know in the comments who's familiar already uh, with, with roles that encompass Linux and everybody who's uh, familiar already with like any roles encompassing cloud, like cloud engineering or cloud developer and other things that Juby's going to break down for us. If you're familiar already, let us know. If you're not familiar or you are familiar, but you want to get training in that space so that way you can get an opportunity in the industry, make sure you go ahead and comment the word Linux. That's L-I-N-U-X or comment the word cloud, either cloud or Linux. Y'all know what it is. Myself or somebody on my team so my audio is jumping in and out. So maybe I should stop jumping around so much when I'm talking. But uh, oh. someone from myself or my team will make sure to send you a message. So either comment the word cloud or comment the word Linux, L-I-N-U-X. Somebody will send something over. So that way you'll be able to get, as always, a discount into Yellowtail Tech 
one of the fastest growing companies in the United States of America. Really excited about this conversation. So anyway, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So first and foremost, uh, Juby, we're going to talk a little bit about you, about your wife, about what y'all accomplished and done. Uh, but first off, people want to know, what is Yellowtail Tech? Yeah, Yellowtail Tech uh, is an education company. It's an ed tech company. I like to say it like that because we try a lot to depart ourselves from the boot camp uh, concept. Yes, mm -hmm. we fall in that category. We cannot escape it. Mm -hmm. But our program is everything but a boot camp because to us, boot camp means two things it means rushed, it means fast. And our programs is everything but that. Our yep. programs are longer, they have more support, and they are definitely not fast. But we are an education company that focuses specifically on training people with no IT background. So we focus on Linux system administration and cloud training and cloud system uh, administration as well. Um, we can uh, dive into that a bit later, but for now, uh, I think it's the best introduction. We are an ed tech company that focuses on people with no IT background, help them transition from a non-IT uh, 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 craft or trade or, or job into IT. This is our niche. We've been focused on that since 2016, and we we are we have been growing since, and we're excited to be here with you, uh, Cyrus. Yeah, so look, I love that. So Linux, cloud, one of the things that you said earlier is mentioning how technically Yellowtail Tech is te technically not a boot camp. Yeah. And I love you mentioning that. Everybody knows y'all see me talk about boot camps a lot. But in reality, the name of the game today, if you the, the fastest way I believe to scale in the industry, as well as to submit yourself in this industry, is either one to, to cross skill and learn some of the skills uh, the Yellowtail Tech uh, trains in. And again, that meaning even if you're already in tech, this is still a very important uh, live for you to tune in. So that way you can learn these things that a lot of people in tech aren't learning. The other thing about it is that notice he mentioned that it's not fast how how typical boot camps are. And so the beauty of that is the skills that you learn. And I love this, uh, that what y'all are doing with Yellowtail Tech, the skills that y'all are teaching people are skills that can't just be easily learned or easily duplicated. These are skills that have that are very that are very raw, very granular and allow people to really be able to stand out and, and be unique in this industry versus other fields where someone could kind of easily duplicate it or do the same thing. Yes. So I love that. The, the way I see it, Cyrus, anything you can easily get in is going to easily get saturated as well. Yeah. We train career professionals. We train for the long haul. We train uh, um, um, IT professional. We don't train for a job. So yeah. uh, I, I, you know, it doesn't sell as much to say, but my, your commitment if you join your yellow tail, your minimal commitment to, to this process is nine months. That is if you're going fast and doing everything the way you're supposed to do it. You yeah. see, we two things we don't we don't do. We don't sell easy and we don't sell fast. We sell doable, we sell a process, we sell eight years of experience of iteratively improving our process. We sell uh, um, higher than above uh, uh, um, conversion rate, if you will, or, 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 or job success rate, but we don't claim easy. Yeah. Uh, it's because the reason why is because most places, most companies, they sell, they usually sell to what people want to hear. And what people want to hear is how do I spend the least amount of money, stay in school for the least amount of time and go out and make the most amount of money? You know, we'd love it to be like that. But the reality is it's not always the case. Yes, there are cases where it's possible. But if you want to be a professional in Linux or in cloud, the commitment uh, 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 of the process, the length of, a, uh, of, of, of training will be longer, especially yeah. in our program. We can, we're going to be talking about this a bit la later, especially mm -hmm. in our program. Not only we train you for the craft itself, but we focus on contextual knowledge, foundational knowledge. Mm -hmm. We focus on giving you not only the training, making sure you come out with a solid certification. In the case of, um, of, of cloud, 
we we focus on having you uh, uh, come out with multiple certification so you can be a proper solid candidate that can go in a in a job and start at add, add, adding value day one so and after uh, before that even we have an apprenticeship where you're going to be solving real tickets on real servers from a real company so you can get that hands on because we know that's there that there's that catch 22 where you need a job to get the experience, but wherever the hell do you get that experience if you never got a job? So yeah. we try to solve all these issues. And trust me, this doesn't get solved in three months, barely in six months. So we try as much as possible to depart ourselves from the bootcamp format, but we keep getting pulled back into the category because there is no category for what yeah. we do specifically. Yeah. It, but, I mean, it makes it makes sense because, because you're college is so long, you know, college is four years, six years, eight years. And then like you mentioned, boot camps many times are like so short and so small, but, and that's a pro to many people, but sometimes the risk that comes within that is that the, the skills that you learn are something that they can be learned in such a short amount of time, then other people can learn them as well and can begin to saturate a field. And so exactly. it, it's a really good conversation to have. One of the things that I love about this, one of the things y'all I like about Juby is uh, recently I spoke with him and I posted about Yellowtail Tech uh, recently. And one of the things he checked me on, he said, hey, Cyrus, uh, can you, uh, you know, please stop t telling people this is a six figure that, that they're going to start out making a hundred thousand dollars or more. He's like, I like to give a little bit more of a conservative number. He's like, maybe say something closer to around $85,000. He's like, that's a more, more conservative number. And so one of the things that I like and I respect a lot about Juby and Yellowtail Tech is the fact that they are that conservative where they're not trying to give outlandish numbers or outlandish things. They would rather, they would rather be conservative and you land something better and get something better than, than for marketing purposes or for cool sounding purposes, basically like a lot of the stuff I do say things that are possibility and then you not get that or you fall below that. Yeah. So that's one of the, the reasons why I thought it was very important definitely to have uh, this conversation. And uh, of course, just introduce my audience, you all to Juby is just because y'all know what I'm on. I'm about, yes, I'm about people making money. I'm about people living life. But y'all know that I am really big on being on people that are, are moving in honesty, moving with integrity and that are like really out here genuinely trying to help people. And one of the things I have seen, Juby, and this is what I love about it being, you know, you telling people, hey, this is this is a nine month program that will give you skill sets that will allow you to be unique in this industry. I love that because there are some boot camps I, I've seen. I'm going to be very real. I have I've heard of of different engineering or cloud programs where they say, hey, we'll teach you this in two months. But the danger of that is. That type of skill set, like you mentioned, is not something someone can learn in two months. So a lot of these programs, y'all, y'all, let's keep it a stack. There are a lot of boot camps and educational programs out there that are just cash grabs. They're literally just saying, hey, we're going to try to cycle you through this program as quickly as possible. So that way we can get your money and then we don't care about what happens afterwards. Basically, the, the same thing that some colleges and universities do but they're doing it just in a shorter time. So they know that they're able to entice people more with that. Yeah. So I love the fact uh, of um, just everything about Yellowtail Tech, what y'all are doing about you making sure people are really stacked with their skill sets. Yeah. That being said, let's go ahead and uh, let, let's, let's dive in a little bit deeper. So we talked about what Yellowtail Tech is. What made you start Yellowtail Tech? Um, well, unlike other tech boot camps that have, that had a, you know, very interesting uh, business plan where we were going to go into the market and become the fastest growing company in the U.S. It wasn't like that for us. We started <laughs> as my wife, who uh, just moved to the U.S., was uh, done with social science. She's a social scientist and said, you know what? I want to transition. Her first idea was to uh, go for uh, a nutrition. She wanted to become a nutritionist. I'm like, if you're going to transition, you might as well transition to something that can make you real money. We looked at the average. I convinced her the average of a nutritionist with a four-year degree, let's look at it. It's barely at 65,000. Uh, 65, so that I was able to convince her. 
And uh, from that day, we started, because I have a, a background in, ma uh, in management information system. Uh, IT is my background personally. So I proceeded to help her transition, but not only me personally. I, you wouldn't want me for your, for your teacher. So I, 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 I tapped into my uh, uh, network and I grabbed all the Linux administrator, administrator, Linux engineer I know. And I'm like, this is my wife. She can learn fast. Let's get her on the game. The first thing she did is get a, an RHCSA. The day she was celebrating to get her, her RHCSA, RHCSA, which is a Red Hat Certified System Administrator Certification, for Linux, I booked her for the RHCE the same day. I'm like, congratulations, but we're going to keep going forward. Yeah. So in, in the, the span of 11 months, she was ready for the job. She had everything necessary for the job. And then she hit the job market. Now, from there, people, friends and family started asking me, hey, how can we help you? And she started I'm, making flashcards. I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, can we, can we pause real quick? We got to pause real quick. Look, y'all. Did y'all just hear what he said? Did y'all hear how he put his wife on? Yeah. He was like, she wanted to be a nutritionist. He was like, baby, look, you smart. You know, you learn fast. With that type of mind, you need to go ahead and do something that's going to make you way more money. Ladies, y'all got to go ahead and give it up for him in the comments. Literally just a man who, instead of him being like, okay, cool, you go ahead and be a nutritionist. Why, while I go out here and get this money, he was like, no, baby, I want you to get to the money as well. I want to, I'm going to pull all my resources together to make sure that you are being paid what you deserve and you're earning basically what literally that's equivalent to your mindset. So I love that. I love, love, love seeing husbands, wives, seeing people that are in committed relationships that are truly pouring into their partner and wanting to see their partner elevate. So look, y'all could already see off top his type of heart and the way that he moves. And so my bad, I interrupted you, but I had to point that out because people just be, people just graze over stuff like that. And so yeah, we had to yeah, point yeah, that yeah. out. With all, all, all the toxic relationship stuff today, we definitely had to point, point that part out. So thank you for being a, a good husband. And uh, of course, you know, your wife, you know, you know, I know she's a great wife. It's also well. because it's also because she could do it as well. I yeah. put her in front of challenges that she took on like it was cake. Now, of course, she's going to tell you she had all the, all kinds of um, 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 how do you call it? Uh, imposter syndrome, which is true, by the way, which is a real thing. But she did it. She yeah. did it. She kept with the program. So once she broke into the industry, we started helping uh, uh, brothers, friends, helping them out, just helping them break into the industry because we were formulating. We didn't even realize that we were formulating a, a, a program. And then in the span of two years, we realized, hey, we have something here. Let's officialize this. So between 2014 and 2016, we were just helping friends and family. In yeah. 2016, we launched. Yeah. We launched. It was amazing. People were getting trained. But I started, I kept seeing one pattern. I kept getting better results with the people with absolutely no IT background than mm. the people who had already had an A plus, a network plus, or who dropped out of, of uh, computer science in college. Mm. And then I'm like, you know what? This is the niche. This is the niche I'm going to go after. I'm going to let everybody fight for the rest of it. I'm going to focus specifically on people with no IT background. And we're going to uh, iter iteratively learn how to train this specific group of people. So that's okay. when we started. We say we are a training center. Yellowtail Tech is a training center, is an ed tech company that focuses on training people with no IT background. And then things blew up from there. So it was because we made that very conscious decision to specifically focus. Although that comes with its own uh, 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 um, challenges, we are committed to this niche, to this niche of people where they come in, they were nurses, they, they are transitioning from the military, they were driving Uber. I can, you can name it, we've trained it already. So yeah. we focus on these people. We only had one program, which is the Linux system administration program. And we spent two years, three years, actually, three and a half almost, not running one ad. We only were bringing business from referral. 
from yeah. people with jobs. So, Yo. um, so that's how we basically we started. We then started with that very fancy uh, 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 um, uh, business uh, 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 plan where we're gonna do, we're gonna do this on year one. We're gonna do this on year yeah. two. It was it it was literally an iterative process where we were figured, figuring things out. In 2016, we decided to hit it. We hit it hard. Yeah. You know? So no, that's, that's, that's basically how we started, you know? Yo, I love this so much. I Look, y'all, that's so fire because what's so dope is how it's so completely backwards from how other people start businesses. And it's usually those, those other types of businesses are the type of businesses that aren't caring as much about helping people. They're just thinking, okay, how can we make the most money? And when you when people when people start things thinking how when they when they start a business and their mindset is thinking, how can I make this a bunch of money? OK, cool. And then how can I promote it and market it? You literally did the opposite with Yellowtail Tech. First off, you weren't even thinking of starting a business. You sincerely as a husband, first and foremost, wanted to, to wanted to see your wife level up financially. And then after helping her. You say, yo, let me, let's help the rest of our tribe. Let's help the rest of our community. Let's help the rest of our people. And then after a, a couple years later, after doing the work to actually help your community, help your tribe, you realize, wait, we are really good at doing this and helping people in this way. And so I love the fact of how y'all scaled in that way and then started a business after you had already proven that you could do that. The other component that I love about what it is that you're doing is that it's like you mentioned, that word of mouth, because Y'all know, I say this all the time, the way even Tech as a New Black has grown has been organically. Like we're we, we're going to run ads soon. I keep saying that, but it's all been organic. And I love that because literally to his point, literally things like that shows you, hey, this is truly helping people. And you don't have to start paying either people or paying ads out the gate to get it more exposure when that word of mouth and you're sincerely being a blessing to people, God is going to bless you. And so- you said something that got me curious. This wasn't even in my, in my list of questions that I had, but you mentioned that that Yellow Tip Tech, of course, puts an emphasis on training people that don't have any IT background. And you mentioned that you noticed that a lot of people were coming to you that already were in tech, but they wanted to they wanted to transition to Linux and no. cloud. No, so it's the opposite. Me with my business mind, I was like the easiest way to train people is to train someone already in IT. It would make my okay. life easier. That's, yeah. That was the businessman talking. But the data was showing something completely different every time. Yeah. So I was always trying to build my business, optimizing toward people already with an A+, already with a network plus, trying to level them up. Because a guy with a network plus or A+, plus or a security plus is usually capped at 65 or 55,000. And I know Linux, you start at 85 to 90, and then 150 is where you, usually you, you end up. But these people I was targeting were not converting because they came with so much baggage. It's mm. so easy to actually train someone who knows nothing about IT because they, they come as a blank canvas. They come yeah. to take people with some IT background that come to you, they come to question your process. They question mm. everything the instructor says. They have question everything you tell them to, 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 to study. They question how important things are when it's so easy to train people who come as an empty canvas. So when I realize that, I'm like, you know, not screw them, but let them get, you know, go to uh, 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 um, other training uh, uh, centers that are not focused on people with no IT background. Let me carve out my niche that I'm better at, at training and let me stay in my lane. So that's when I made the decision. And then I called the team. I said, you know what? Today, we have a, we finally have a tagline. We are Yellowtail Tech and we train people with no IT background or technical degree. That's yeah. our tagline. If you, if you go to our website, it's going to be the first thing you see because we want it to be known for that. So yes. that's, that's how this decided. It didn't start because uh, uh, um, of anything else. Yeah. Where I wanted to get is to level up people, but it, it wasn't happening. You see what I mean? Yeah, I think that's so cool. And I hope that's actually inspirational to a lot of y'all. The, the fact that he pointed out, so notice when we talk about imposter syndrome and many of y'all 
most of us, before before even trying to get into a program like Yellowtail Tech, many times you could have doubts and think, think things like, okay, well, would I am I even good for? Would I even be a fit? The fact that he's saying that he noticed that people that were performing better were the, those who had no experience. So literally let that be, just let that be like a bit of a testimony, be a bit of evidence where it shows you, hey, you are a good fit. If you feel that God is leading you, God is calling you either to this or just to make more money in the tech industry with a unique field that isn't saturated like within Linux or cloud, then let that be something that can definitely, definitely uh, encourage you. So let me, uh, let me tell you, there was actually an inverse correlation. We looked at everyone we trained with some IT background and their placement rate and everyone we trained with no IT background, there was an inverse correlation, meaning we were placing people with no IT background at four times the rate than people with some IT background, literally wow. inverse correlation. So that's when we decided this is the way to go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because it's, 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 it's not easier, by the way. Yeah. But it's more doable yeah. to actually train someone with absolutely no IT background. Yeah. It, it comes with its challenges. We had to do a lot of th different things with the program, for example. For yeah. example, we start the program with IT infrastructure and networking. It's basically A plus meet uh, 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 network plus as yeah. a training. Oh, Just really quick, really quickly, y'all make sure you're putting your questions in the question box. I'm seeing a lot of questions getting flooded in the comments. We're not going to be able to scroll all the way up to get to the questions. So those of y'all on Instagram, Make sure you're putting your questions in the question box because we are going to get to your questions. Make sure they're in the proper place. Those of you that are on LinkedIn and YouTube, we're going to get to your questions as well. Make sure that either you save your questions until the end or if you have to jump, leave your question and I'll reach out to Juby and the rest of the Yellowtail Tech team so that way we can look at those questions and whether the Tech is a New Black team will, will respond to those or myself or someone from Yellowtail Tech will respond to those as well. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and let you uh, continue, continue to yeah. go. No, but I, I was saying in general what we had to do with our program as well, because we decided to focus on people with no IT background, we, we realized that our model had to change as well. Okay. Because there's two kinds of uh, training, uh, Cyrus, out there, literally. There's the mm -hmm. kind of training that helps current professional upskill. Yeah. And there's the kind of training that help people with no IT background transition into IT. These yeah. are two very distinct models. Yeah. Two very distinct process, two diff very distinct approach. Mm -hmm. So we went and realized and, 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 and designed programs that has the contextual knowledge, the foundational knowledge embedded. That's why a lot of people are always asking me, well, so what do I need to start your program? You need nothing. It's all included. Yeah. You see what I mean? We have, we have everything for, for you to even learn yes. what is an IP. Before Woo! we start diving in you into Linux, we yeah. give you the foundational knowledge. We yeah. give you the support. And we realize another thing. People who are transitioning, they need more support. It takes them longer to grasp. Uh, uh, new new uh, information and new con uh, uh, concepts. That's why yeah. we slowed down our program. It, they need more support. That's why we have review session with a live instructor every single Sunday and every single Saturday. So we realized things and we we kept on improving our program according to the to the to the target market we are serving. Mm -hmm. So that's what made a difference. We also realized the catch-22. You need a job to get the experience, but where do you get the experience to get the job? Yeah. We partnered up with a company to give them the apprenticeship, for them to get the, uh, the hands-on to be able to put their, uh, 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 on their resume. So we stacked very meticulously all the, the, the ingredients necessary to actually be able to uh, um, deliver. This is why I always say we are in the business of helping people get jobs. We are not in the business of training. And by the way, this is not by accident mm. we call it Linux for jobs, cloud for jobs. It's because we didn't want the job, the, the concept of lending a job to be lost in the process. Yeah. I because love that. Some, be, some people are in the business of training. Let me give you an example. No knock to them. Um, 
uh, uh, a cloud guru. They are in the business of training. They sell A plus, uh, highly uh, 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 rated training. But you're still going to need the support, the process, the understanding of the market, the, the resume review, everything to get a job. You see what I mean? We are in the yeah. business of helping helping people get jobs. That's why we call it Linux for jobs, yeah. cloud for jobs. So we kind of did the exercise and position ourselves and understand what is it, where we stand in the marketplace and offer uh, uh, our service and training according to that. You know, I love so much of what you say because y'all know I've talked about it before about how there are a lot of different programs, boot camps, and colleges where their concern is just getting people's money and they don't care if you land a job afterwards. They're like, hey, we educated you. The rest is solely on you. But I love, I love, love, love uh, programs like Yellowtail Tech where their concern isn't just making sure you're properly educated and have proper resources, but that you also land a job. You know what's crazy? That point that he just mentioned, where if you go to their website and you and you or and you once you land, land on it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was gonna say when you when you go on the website, you will see that it does say Linux for jobs and it says cloud for jobs when you look at uh, the roles they have, uh, the trainings they have listed. And I wondered why it said that, but now that makes perfect sense. So look, so we got a lot of questions coming in. Y'all make sure y'all keep putting your questions in the question box below or, or the question circle, whatever whatever it looks like for y'all on y'all's end. A few things I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and, and blast out uh, to ask. So we're gonna talk a few numbers. So real quick, let's talk about what percentage of students uh, or graduates from Yellowtail Tech are landing jobs Mm -hmm. the average entry salary and are these roles like Linux cloud, like are these in demand in tech? So first we'll say what's the uh, percentage of yellowtail tech graduates that are landing jobs. And then also so, what that entry level salary looks like on average. So we have a 92% uh, passing rate on the RATSA that transition into a 68% so from that 92% of people who pass, 68% get a job within six months. And 78%, if you stretch that length a little longer, 78% get a job within, uh, within a year. Now, we are not at 100%. We, I don't think we will we'll ever be because some people drop out. Life gets in the way. You know, things, uh, 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 you know, things, uh, things get, uh, get in the way in general. Yeah. Um, for our Cloud for Jobs program, we are still around the 55% within six months and about 60% in the, in the next, in the, in, in the year. And okay. it's, it's, for, it's for a few reasons. It's because we are, uh, 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 it's a new work program. And also we, we started seeing some pattern. And that's why I also want to talk about our next move for this industry. So, uh, the pattern is people who come into the cloud, they don't realize how much commitment it takes to actually become a cloud professional. So yeah. now we are going to institute a very rigorous uh, 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 process. We're going to only train 80 cloud students a year. That's it. Oh, wow. Yeah. We're going to institute, institute uh, an application process. Make sure you really know and commit it to the process because I am not in the business to train just to train. This is not yeah. my intention. I don't want to grow like that. I want to grow in such a way where I am converting the same level at my, uh, at my Linux for Jobs program. So we're going to uh, um, uh, set up a very rigorous uh, um, um, uh, 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 application process because we saw some patterns because before you get into Linux for jobs or cloud for jobs, you get an assessment. And we went and, and looked back at the data, everybody who scored where we would like them to score on the assessment did very well in the cloud program. So what we should have, ha have not done in the first place is to, uh, uh, lower the standard of the of the of the acceptance of the program so we're gonna uh, increase the uh, uh, um, the, 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 the the standard the requirement the standard yeah. 
uh, to, uh, uh, to enter the program. We're going to make sure you are committed. We are, we're going to make sure you understand the, uh, um, the, uh, what it really takes. You understand the length of commitment. I can tell you right now, transitioning to become a full-blown cloud professional takes no less than a year. Like I said, Cyrus, I'm not in the business of telling people what they want to hear. I'm in the yeah. business of telling people what it actually takes. Yeah, It takes a year, solid year of training, support, re resume work, and everything that comes in between. And we yeah. also realize the more Linux knowledge you have, the better you fare in the, uh, in the, uh, uh, in the, uh, in the program. These are all the, the tweaks we've made to the program. That's why we just launched Cloud for Jobs 2.0. Because we are changing things. We are limiting the amount of, of people we train. We are in, uh, 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 making the application process very uh, uh, strict. That way, if you are in there, you know you're going to get not only the support, you know you're going to be surrounded with people who are as committed as you. So these are the, 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 uh, uh, the things we, we, uh, we're going to uh, institute. And we also see a few other patterns. We're going to lean into the GovTech arena because, mm. uh, yeah, because what we notice yeah. is that cloud jobs are getting outsourced to South America, to India, mm. and places yeah. like that. And the only entry level uh, cloud jobs that cannot be outsourced are in the government. GovTech. It's GovTech. So now, if you have a security clearance and you are either either have a security clearance or you are clearable or you already have a security plus you have a leg up to be able to apply to our program and get accepted yeah because now we're going to focus on a hundred percent placement rate for that cloud for yes jobs. there is so many jobs in cloud out there it's ridiculous but we have to bring in the right candidate this is where we 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 we, we could have done better now we're correcting that. We're going to make sure we're very, very, uh, uh, how do you say, selective into how we, 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 uh, uh, we, we let people into our program. 80 people a year, no more, not even one more uh, person than that. That's, yeah. that's, the, that's the model we're going to go for. Quantity over quality. Value yeah. over volume. That's our model. Yeah. Yo, that's so incredible. I love the fact that y'all are even paying attention to see that some like typical cloud jobs are starting to get sent to other places. For, and for, for y'all to care, for y'all to care as a, uh, for Yellowtail Tech to care so much to say, hey, we're going to now enter into the GovTech space when it comes to cloud. So that way we can, again, make sure it's still cloud for jobs that we're still allowing people yes. to be able to give them the training and the opportunity to land these roles. I love that so much about what it is uh, that, that y'all are doing. And so and you, you touched, oh, go ahead. In fact, we have, a, 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 um, we're going to give out one, uh, we came out of, uh, with, with this this year, uh, this week. We're going to give out one scholarship for Cloud for Jobs. Mm. But you're going to have some requirement. You're going to have to have a security clearance or be clearable and have a security plus or okay. be willing to get the security plus. But the security clearance is most likely what we know makes the difference because yeah. the people who have a security clearance already, when they are, uh, when, when they graduate from our program, they get placed within days, not weeks, not months, within days. So we're going to focus on this niche because that's the only niche that, that cannot be outsourced to India or yeah. to, to, to South America, you know? All right. So, so there's a few different things uh, that we have uh, left on here to talk about. I'm going to try to make sure we get to as many of these as possible and also get to y'all's questions. Again, make sure y'all are putting your questions down in the question box below. So that way we can, uh, we can go ahead and get over to those. So I've seen a couple people mention, and again, y'all, I like to only answer the questions that are in the question box. But I saw a couple people mention this. Uh, where they were uh, mentioning that they don't aren't sure if they can afford the pricing of Yellowtail Tech. So look, there are a variety of people. There are people that do that. Uh, there are people 
that would ask questions. And I've seen a couple of these people asking, hey, does Yellowtail Tech offer or provide or offer payment plans? Yes, we, well, we offer payment facilities. We work with partners okay. that help finance our programs. Yes, but uh, we don't have internal payment. We used to have it. We are doing away with payment plans. We are outsourcing that to uh, um, uh, companies like Ascent and Climb that focuses and uh, uh, um, specializes in finance and uh, student financing. They have very flexible uh, uh, um, um, uh, um, repayment options. So yeah, definitely, we yeah, yeah. we have ways for for people to afford our programs. Definitely. Okay, good stuff. I love that. I love that so much. And so look, y'all, y'all know what I'm about. I'm really big on introducing something to you all that is an incredible, incredible opportunity that's hiring a lot. It's something that will make you really unique in the tech industry, but also is affordable. Because again, y'all, one of the things I harp on all the time is how people are ended up $60,000, $80,000, $100,000 plus in debt uh, with Sally Mae. And the beauty, even though Yellowtail Tech is not a tech boot camp, they're being pictured to that category. That being said, the price point, again, is nowhere near like anything with college. And I'm really excited. They also do have those payment plans for people for people that do uh, need a need a uh, payment plan. And so yeah. I love that. I know when I when, when I got in tech boot camp, I did. There wasn't a payment plan available. So I would have loved uh, I would have loved a payment plan. So uh, that's really great. So, you know, we talked a lot about uh, for those of y'all that don't know, I actually interviewed one of Yellowtail Tech's alumni a couple weeks ago who is working in tech uh, from the education that he got at Yellowtail Tech. That was a great interview. We talked a lot about Linux with that person. And so, Juvi, I'm really curious if you could explain to people what cloud, like what cloud engineering is. And I don't want to limit it to just cloud engineering, but we talked before about Linux. Anybody that's curious about seeing that, go back on the on the uh, YouTube channel and you know, you'll see that interview with the Yellowtail Tech graduate. And we talked about that. But explain to people, I guess briefly, what cloud is and why why a cloud role is something that's in such high demand and is so vital, not just to a tech company, but to the tech industry overall. Yes. Cloud is basically servers that are being hosted in a data center that's not owned by the company. Let me explain what I mean. If you have a company like Netflix... Netflix is the best example. Netflix doesn't own one server. Everything you're watching from Netflix is hosted on Amazon, on, on AWS, on Amazon Web Services. Yeah. So they decided, they made a very uh, early decision where they're not going to have their own IT infrastructure. They're going to leverage cloud computing. So basically, cloud computing is just using uh, uh, someone else's, another entity's uh, infrastructure as needed. Meaning, if you need, let me give you an example. Between 8 p.m. and 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 midnight, every, everybody's home, right? Everybody's watching Netflix at the same time. So automatically, they need more computing power. So they have auto auto uh, uh, automation that scales up automatically to, to make use of more computing power. And then let's say between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m., everybody's sleeping. That same automation scales down the amount of computing power they are using, thus paying for. So mm -hmm. cloud is just the ability to buy infrastructure as a service, as needed. So it's yeah. like going to AWS and say, sell me for $30 worth of infrastructure because that's yeah. what I need now. But tomorrow I need, I will need for a hundred dollars worth. Yeah. Maybe in December, let's say Macy's, Macy's makes all their sales between, uh, um, between Black Friday and, 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 and uh, December 25th. Mm -hmm. This is when, they, they need more computing power to move everything, right? To move all their inventory and stuff like that. So during that time, they need more computing power. It mm -hmm. expands and retracts according to the need of the company. So a lot of companies, 
they choose not to build their own infrastructure because when you're building your own infrastructure, you need to have a physical data center. You need to have uh, um, power. You need to have security, physical security. You need to be able to manage the heat all those servers are, uh, are, are generating. As, uh, so it's just another way companies are uh, moving to uh, uh, buy the infrastructure they need to run the applications they need. So yeah. cloud computing is just infrastructure, but as a service. The reason why we chose AWS is because AWS is run almost yes. entirely on Linux. A lot of wow. people don't realize that. I didn't even know that. So that's why our, our wow. AWS program, it has a very big Linux component. In fact, most Linux, most AWS and cloud jobs, they require that you are very strong on Linux because even in the cloud, what operating system you're running? Linux. So that's also why we chose uh, AWS to be our uh, uh, to be part of our cloud program for a few things. First, it's the biggest. It's the only cloud uh, um, offering that's still growing forty percent growth, literally forty percent growth year over year for the past five years, and it's expected to happen for the next five years. So yeah. AWS, that size of this company, is growing at a startup rate, and it has been growing. But for, for the past five years, and it's expected to happen in the next five years. Because think about it. Everybody's moving to the cloud because of the, its flexibility. Yeah. So yeah. In, or, in, in terms of uh, longevity of your, of your career, cloud is the way to go. Yeah, in definitely. terms of immediate access to the job market, lower barrier to entry, Linux is your way to go. So, yeah. so you see what I mean? Yeah. It really depends on what you're trying to accomplish, how sophisticated you are as a learner, yeah. how much time do you have. All these things we decide with you. And we, mm -hmm. uh, we advise you according to your goals, according to how much you know already. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, coming into our cloud program, if you at least know what AWS is, what are the services they, they offer, you know, it's, it's easier to actually sell you into this program. But if you don't, uh, um, if, you, if you are very uh, um, new to this concept, we usually track you towards a Linux job that usually converts into a, a, a cloud job, a cloud oh, job yes. in the future. So we have one program that helps you break in fast. We have one program that helps you, you know, that takes you to the moon. So it's according to what you are optimizing for at the time you come to us. Yeah. Yo, that is so fine. So hopefully, man, for everybody, it looks like of the comments, y'all definitely are tracking what everything he's saying. He's breaking down. He's doing a, a great job explaining all of this. Y'all, look, this is why, this is why this industry pays so well. And then even why these roles pay so well, because a lot of people don't know this. We talk about Amazon a lot. Like he keeps mentioning AWS, of course, Amazon Web Services. People don't know that that actually is how Amazon makes most of their money. Amazon actually loses money on their Amazon store. People don't realize that. We all are shopping on Amazon and we think, oh, Amazon has all this money because we're shopping on Amazon. No, they actually have the majority of their money because of AWS, because of the cloud. And that's why they actually can pay so well. And they are still, they are not losing money. They are acquiring a, a, a market share. So yeah, basically, yeah. they are literally making an investment. That's yeah. why they are growing so fast. Because they want to get to a point where they make it so obvious for everybody to not have their own data center. To just yeah. buy uh, uh, infrastructure from them. So that's why they are still growing. And there is so much growth in the industry left. We haven't even scratched the surface of what cloud computing will be in the next five to 10 years. Yeah. So getting in the industry, you still, if you get into industry now or in two years, you still are going to get into the industry and in the, in the ground floor. Yeah, I love it. So, oh, man, 
All right. So, uh, so many questions I got, but I know y'all got questions. So I want to make sure we, I want to make sure that, uh, that we are getting y'all questions. One thing that I did fail to mention earlier, y'all. So again, he, he just finished, Juby just finished breaking down Linux versus cloud. Those of you that are interested, you heard what he said about the, the, the opportunity within working in the cloud space. Those of you that are interested in that, you can comment the word cloud. And then myself or somebody from my team will, will reach out to you with a breakdown of the boot camp. Uh, same thing with Linux. If you're more interested in Linux, L-I-N-U-X, go ahead and comment that. And someone on my team will reach out to you with a discount for that. That being said, I didn't mention this earlier on the call. But as always, y'all know how it is. Myself, Tech is a New Black, we do have a discount into Yellowtail Tech that they blessed us and have allowed our audience to be able to use. So all you have to do is use our link. And so, again, make sure you comment the words. Those of y'all on LinkedIn, YouTube, comment the word, and uh, somebody on my team will make sure that they respond with the discount link and information. And those of y'all on Instagram, just make sure you comment the word and you'll notice uh, a message. Somebody on my team that's in here right now is going to go ahead and message you that with that discount link. And it's a discount link up to $500, actually. Let me be uh, let me be clear on that. Because people are like, well, how much of a discount? $500, you get $500 off. So we're incredibly, incredibly grateful for that. Thank you. We still got more. We're about to go ahead and get to these questions. But just first off, I just want to go ahead and say thank you so much, Juby, just for man, just your story, just being the kind of husband that you are to the kind of wife that you have what y'all have done for your immediate tribe, immediate community, and then taking that further and allowing God to really allow you to impact so many people. And the beauty of it, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you touch on this and then we're gonna jump to the questions, but the beauty of it, for those of y'all that are just now tuning in, the beauty of it is that through them impacting so many people out of sincerity, God has blessed them to allow them to now be one of the ranked is one of the fastest growing companies in the United States, drop some fire emojis. That's yes. crazy. As a as a yes. look, look, that, that's a crazy in and of itself. But that's beautiful. As a you know, again, as as a, as a black man, you know, as a husband, you know, your wife. Again, y'all know I'm, I'm I'm big on marriage. I'm big on love. I'm big on like just that 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 unit. So I love that so much. And I love that y'all as a unit because his wife is the co-founder with Yellowtail Tech. I want to say that them as a unit are now impacting so many people and transforming lives and generations. Yeah. So we just really see just the purpose in that. A few, a few uh, to give context to the fastest growing company claim, mm -hmm. uh, Inc. 5000, Inc. Magazine cho chooses 5,000 companies a year according to their, um, to their revenues to decide who's the fastest uh, 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 company, growing company. They look at your last three years of growth and then they, 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 they decide who are the fastest companies. Not only we were the uh, uh, part of the fastest, we, felt we, be, we were ranked 452 out of 5,000. So we were ranked very low. And second, we were 10 in the category of education. We were number 10. Wow. in the category of education so um it's a blessing we hope to make the list again next year but um this is a big thing for us uh and in november we're gonna actually take the award in texas my wife and i uh, uh she's there in the in the chat um thank you paloma for being my co-founder for taking the the, uh, uh, the company where it is now we're gonna take that award and then keep taking it every year if if if, if, if it's meant to be you know, but well, yeah, you had another uh, question you wanted me to to clarify. Oh, we're going to actually we're actually going to uh, get to the questions. I love it. Y'all know I love y'all know what I'm about. I'm about seeing people win and I'm about seeing people help people. So y'all, I say all the time, like, yo, I'm about getting to the bag and I'm also about helping people. And that's why I love so much. Uh, what they're doing with Yellowtail Tech, the fact that not only they get into the bag, but that they've won such a prestigious award for the way they've gotten to the bag but of course the only reason they've gotten to the bag so well is because simultaneously they've helped so many people so it's beautiful so we're one, going one, to get to the, oh, go ahead. one last comment i wanted to do though we mm -hmm. do have and not many companies have it uh, we do have a tuition reimbursement program uh, basically if you don't land a job for the linux for jobs within five months after completing the apprenticeship you get your money back 
Wow. If you don't land a job within six months after completing the, the cloud uh, uh, um, uh, program, you get your money back. It's a way, we didn't have to do that. It's a way to tell right. you, we want you committed, but we as a company also, we are committed to the process. Yeah. We wanted to send that message to the marketplace where it's not only about the money. It's about you putting your 100% and I'm going to put my 100%. Because yeah. the demon of this industry is that you can only do as good as your students do. Your program mm -hmm. can only be as great as your student come in with the right mindset, with the right uh, 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 time, amount of time to study. With You see what I mean? It's not like I'm selling ice cream where I just sell it to you and then you enjoy it. For me to actually succeed you have to keep doing the work. Yeah. So we wanted to make sure we show everyone that not only we want to commit you to, to that excellence, but we also want to uh, hold ourselves to that same level of commitment. So yeah. we have a tuition reimbursement guarantee and to our uh, offer as well. Yo, that's fire. Look, I see y'all in the comments. Y'all dropping a fire emoji without me even telling y'all to, especially on YouTube and on LinkedIn. Look, Look, we love it. We love it. So look, y'all, I see y'all, y'all don't sent in a lot of questions. A lot of people are saying, sign me up already. Y'all are ready to go. I, I'm going to be real with y'all. I didn't even know about that last part that he just mentioned. If he told me that before, it's definitely something I forgot. So that way, that's just beautiful. I love it. I'm, I'm not even going to go on a rant. I'm going to just go ahead and we're going to get to these questions. Y'all know I can talk. I can definitely talk. All right. So look, so let's see. Uh, first question that I see in here, it says, what does Yellowtail Tech offer uh, price and how long is the boot camp and job place? So, so we already talked about how long is the boot camp. So let's do this, y'all. We're going to respectfully avoid questions that we've already answered. We would ask that you just watch the live because there are not just your question that's probably already been answered, but other questions you maybe didn't think to ask that are of value. Also, we want to respect everybody else's time that's been here that has uh, heard these questions be answered already. Still, great question. Thank you for answering. And um, yeah, so, but just definitely just kind of watch it and you'll see your question answered. All right, so next question is, when is the 80 student cutoff starting? I'm not sure what they mean by that question. I'm sure you yeah, know. We are, we are gonna take, actually for this cohort, believe it or not, <laughs> we are two people away from hitting our quota and we will, be high, we will be enrolling for January. To answer your question, the uh, the eighty uh, uh, co uh, the eighty student cut off is per year, and we already hit our uh, 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 we are at seventy eight literally for twenty twenty three, and we're gonna start taking application uh, in uh, for uh, for January uh, for for twenty twenty four. And that's that's for cloud specifically, correct? That's for cloud. We hey, look, mm -hmm. we no, no, uh, we enroll a little more for for uh, uh, for Linux. Okay. So look, y'all, y'all heard that it's literally two slots left a year is nowhere near over. And they've already filled it up to just two slots. So for those of y'all that are sincerely interested in being in the, the in their next cohort for the cloud computing or, or cloud, make sure again you comment the word cloud. Make sure you go ahead, you know, for those that want the uh discount link. Oh, I forgot Instagram cuts you off after an hour. Goodness. Apparently, we got caught off on um, IG. All right, hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I forgot Instagram made that new rule where they cut you off after an hour. Oh, goodness. So we're going to continue on here, y'all. We're definitely going to continue to service those of y'all that are here. Cyrus, if you can hear me, let me know uh, because I can't hear you. Oh, okay, cool. Let me... I think you have your computer on mute. Let me, you have your on mute. Okay, I hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My volume was low, sorry. I <laughs> know oh, you're fine. Yeah, so Instagram cut us off because I, I forgot they just changed it to where they cut you off at an hour. Uh, yeah. That's, that's really annoying. Uh, I'm going to make sure I have to take note. They just changed that, like, I think, like, uh, two months ago or something, or a month ago. Uh, so we're going to continue on here, continue answering y'all questions that are here on YouTube. 
And so uh, that was definitely good. I know a lot of people sent in a lot of questions. So we're just going to go ahead and, and run through y'all's questions. Uh, so someone asked, where is the pricing listed for Yellowtail Tech? Uh, for, the, uh, for the pricing, it's $10,000 for the Linux program and $15,000 for, uh, for, the, for the, cloud. the cloud program. The, the Linux program is six months of training, two months of internship, and six additional uh, 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 months of career support. And I mean one-on-one. -on -one. That is also why we cannot manage too many students. It's because we have that one, we have literally a team of 23 people that does nothing but uh, support our students. Uh, um, for the cloud for jobs, it's 15,000, 15,500. And it's a nine months, almost 10 months program. But the commitment we have to you uh, uh, is, is way more than nine months because it's nine months program, three months of apprenticeship, and then you hit the job market. So it's a, like I said, our model is not the boot camp model. If you are looking for something fast, uh, it's not, we are not the right place. If you're looking for something to build your career for the next 10 years, we are your, we are your company. So what one thing we don't do is try to play the, the price game. Uh, <laughs> for the value we offer, we rather focus on offering value than try to do the race to the bottom to, be, to, to see who can be the cheapest. We yeah. are by no means interested in being the cheapest in the industry. We are interested in being the best at placing people and at delivering on what we promise. That's also why we insisted to keep the tuition reimbursement guarantee. I have, uh, in two occasions, my, my, I, my, my corporate lawyer told me, you do realize you don't need that in your, in your enrollment contracts. I'm like, I don't need it, but I want it. I yeah. want to send the message that I am that committed to the process. Yeah. You see? So, yeah. But in order, uh, uh, talking about price, what you can do is uh, find the link on, um, on, on Cyrus's uh, bio, you can click uh, and get a 10 minute uh, uh, intro call with our enrollment advisor. We're gonna talk to you not only about price, about tuition credit, uh, uh, put, uh, 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 about discounts, about way to finance it. We're gonna make it definitely doable for you. So that, that's, that's really what I have to say about um, price. I had another question I saw I wanted to answer was, yeah, do you have to have a CompTIA A plus or a CompTIA Network plus to join our program? No, it's all included. We have a course called IT Infrastructure and Networking that gives you that foundation, foundational and contextual knowledge you need. So everything is included into the program. And also one thing, one, one, one comparison I usually uh, uh, make and see in the industry is that One sec. people come in and they start comparing you to a cloud guru. Still that when they are paying, let's say $50 a month, where we are not that. We are a company that accompanies you throughout the process. We are, we, we are not the self-paced model because what happens is we see a lot of students, what they do is they keep studying in circle for two years and they stay in place. Two years later, you call them, you say, wait, did you break into IT? No. So there's also that opportunity cost. They never calculate. If two years ago, you were already making $90,000, you would have paid for my, for my program and took four, five cru uh, cruises on top of it and you would still have money left. Yeah. You know what I mean? People, you know, people, they have a very weird way at looking at uh, uh, investment into their yeah. um, in, into their uh, uh, um, education. Yeah. And if you are that person, we probably are not the, the right program for you because we are about excellence. We are about uh, uh, getting the right person for, for the right program, getting the right fit and delivering most importantly on that promise. Love that so much. So very much. So yeah. that uh. Couple other questions that are in here. 
So one of the questions, this is a, a bit off, but I still want to, you know, still question nevertheless, want to acknowledge it. So I'm saying since you're based in, well, I don't believe he's in Maryland. I believe, uh, but- Yeah, I'm in Maryland. Oh, you're in Maryland. I don't know why I thought you were overseas. I, I have a, I have a second home in the Republic, but I live in Maryland, in Potomac, Maryland. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, they were asking if you're going to have in-person events in Silver Springs. No, we, in 2020, when, uh, in the middle of the, um, of, of, of the pandemic, I made one thing. I prayed on it, I thought about it, and I decided. It was the most scary thing I did, but I decided to put every, to change everything online. And that's also what has enabled us to grow so fast. Now we are able to serve people all the way in Hawaii. Having in, in person, uh, uh, um, having in person tr uh, training doesn't offer any additional value. So all our our our, our meetups, our training, everything is done uh, remotely, and it has enabled us to reach so many people in the past four years, three to four years. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff. All right. Yeah, yeah, I think we got it all, man. Yeah, it looks like it. I know there were a bunch a little bit earlier. So, all right, y'all. So what I'm going to do is uh, any of the questions that we missed, because uh, I can't see any other ones. So what we're going to do, we're going to okay. make sure. I have one question. What is the security certificate uh, should uh, get? Uh, uh, what is the security certificate you should get to get the scholarship? Security Plus. Uh, yes, and it's uh, thank you, Lily, Lily Fumero. It's to be. A, it's because we understand having a Security Plus. It's not necessarily a technical requirement, but it's a security requirement for the government. So if we're gonna give one scholarship away. We want to give it to someone who, are, who is the most likely to actually get a job. So if you have a security clearance and you also have a security plus, you are our ideal person to give out that uh, scholarship to. So if you are interested, please reach out to us, uh, um, mention the word scholarship, and we're going to have you apply for it. And uh, hopefully you are the one who, who gets it, Lily. Yes, uh, I look, thank you so much, Juby, for coming on. It's an incredible, incredible uh, conversation, even better than I thought it was going to be. And so look, y'all, again, industry is booming. These are two different fields that I've not talked about enough that have a lot of immense value that are scaling incredibly and also would literally make you very unique and very in a very amazing asset in this tech uh, industry. And yeah. so, again, okay. one last thing I want to say is that they are unique and they they build on each other linux hmm. is the entry level uh, uh, uh knowledge to cloud because oh, wow. cloud is built aws is built on linux on linux yeah the first thing they want you to understand as a cloud engineer is the operating system that powers the cloud yeah. because cloud is just an abstraction of an operating system running somewhere else so yeah. you better know that abstraction well, which is Linux. So one thing I don't want people to get wrong is I choose Linux locks me out of cloud. No, it gets you better ready for cloud. Ooh, That's okay. one thing. Second, we didn't talk about the entry level salary thing. The reality of what we're seeing is that the entry level salary for Linux and cloud, believe it or not, are around the same, is wow. well around... 85 to 90,000. That's your first job. Now, a year in, even nine months in, you can even not even put down your resume, but get that first 80 to $90,000 job and then negotiate for that six figures the second time around. I don't want people to just come in just trying to go for the $100,000 job that usually requires more experience that they don't have yet. So that's why I always stay away from claiming that high salary. It's not because it's impossible. I've had students who've had literally $150,000 offer from day one. 
Ooh. But these are exceptional students. Yeah. Because there is such a thing as adaptive interview. When you come in, according to how you are interviewing, the interviewer is adapting the interview to see how far they can get you. Mm. From that point, they decide, okay, are we going to slot him as a junior and pay him 90? Are we going to slot him as a mid-level sysadmin and give him 105? Or can he take the senior role of the guy who's about to leave and we're going to start him straight off at 130? So there is a lot of a variable into the, 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 the salary thing. Yeah. So that's why I stay away from claiming high salary because I don't know your study ethics. I don't know how committed you're going to do to that, uh, to that pro pro yeah. process. I don't know how good is your interview taking process because that's one thing we work a lot, a lot on. We do a lot of mock interviews with our students, make sure... Uh, the mock interviews are recorded. We grill them. We give them immediate feedback so they can go back and see themselves being interviewed and improve from there. So yeah. all these, uh, uh, you know, play into how much they make on their first uh, 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 job. So that's why I kind of, you know, hesitate to make that $100,000 claim the first time around. Oh, no, I get it. I get it. And I, I love it. I love it. I mean, everybody in the comments loves it, too. Uh, so... Now, this is really, really great. So, look, y'all. Yeah, somebody said talk more about cloud on the podcast. Yeah, we definitely got to talk more about cloud on, on the Texas New Black podcast. Um, yeah. We, hey, y'all, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. That's all I'm going to tell y'all. Stay tuned. So, uh, but thank you for that comment, though. You might be a little bit, bit of a prophet. You don't even know it. And so, uh, look, Juby, this has been a phenomenal, phenomenal conversation. Uh, everybody was in, was enjoying it. Everyone's really excited, especially on Instagram and even everyone here on YouTube and LinkedIn. Look, y'all, those incredible opportunities here. Those of y'all that are interested in cloud, they got two slots that are left for the remain, like for you to be able to get in. And so, again, if so you're two, interested, two slots for for October, but yeah. we are enrolling for January. We are. Okay. We have, oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. basically, if you want to get in sooner, go ahead and jump on it. But the opportunity is still there. So even if you don't make it in sooner, you still can be a part of the next cohort. Yes. Just at least trying to uh, give you a heads up on that. Again, uh, we're going to, the Texas New Black team, we're going to send over a link for you. If you don't get the discount link, let us know. We'll give you the discount link. That way you can save $500 uh, in your journey within Linux or cloud, ultimately breaking into the tech industry at a high earning salary. That'll start, you, as you said, around eighty dollars to $90,000. But earning potential, you'll be able to scale way beyond that with time. Uh, thank you so much, Juby, for being on here. You've been a blessing. Your story is a blessing. What Yellowtail Tech is doing is really phenomenal. We are excited to see. And y'all, those of y'all that break into tech through Yellowtail Tech, y'all know, let me know. I would love to bring y'all on, let you share your testimony, your story. It, it's going to be beautiful to look to see how many of y'all that are on here right now will be able to recount this interview and be able to say and be interviewing with me and saying like, yo, like I was there watching you with Juby and Yellowtail Tech. So I'm super excited about the future. Definitely keep us posted because we love interviewing people that are breaking into tech because your testimony is the story someone else needs to hear. So thank yeah. all of y'all for being on here. It's beautiful that we're on here, not about any toxic conversations or the silly things we see online, but about education, about leveling up financially, le leveling up. Uh, in our knowledge, impacting our family, our communities, and the world at large. Uh, thank you all, and thank you, Juby, for coming on. All right. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me. I had a good time. I was, it was great. It was better than yeah. I expected. You know, I, I always love talking about, you know, what we do at Yellow Tell Tech, so it's always yeah. a pleasure. Yeah, that's wonderful. Hey, y'all, look, I'm going to go ahead and end this stream, and uh, y'all have a blessed and beautiful night. God bless y'all. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye.